The 77-inch Evo M3 4K TV from LG is a new wireless OLED TV, is packed full of impressive specs, and today we're going to take a look at what it has to offer. So LG's Evo M3 TV is their first and only wireless OLED TV that transmits all of the signals to the TV completely wirelessly. Now, the new wireless technology brings many advantages including a clean install, and the only cable you have to worry about is the power cable. The main purpose of the wireless OLED TV is of course so you can have a completely wire-free clean install with your power plugged in behind your TV and then all of your peripherals are plugged into the zero connect box somewhere else in the room. Now you can see my previous TV install was a bit of a mess when it comes to all of the wires and now thanks to the M3 OLED I've only got one wire to worry about and although it is traveling down to the unit at the moment, I will be installing a new power socket behind the TV for a full clean install. Now the clean look isn't the only advantage either, and with my TV setup here, it was always a pain to make any changes as my floating unit has to come off of the wall first before the TV can, and that meant if I just had a simple job to do like plug in a new HDMI cable, it ended up taking an hour. Now the zero connect box means I can plug in my devices through the HDMI and I don't even have to touch the TV, meaning it now literally takes just a few seconds. Now I have to admit, I was a little bit skeptical about the wireless OLED before I was trying it out, but in fact, it's worked better than I expected and it's pretty simple to set up. Now the on-screen configuration tells you how good the signal is and it gives you help when pointing the antenna. It says that it should be pointed at the TV with direct line of sight and not obstructed, but I actually have mine in this MDF cabinet below the TV and as you can see, it shows full signal and it works flawlessly. It also warns that voice commands may not work if it's in a cabinet, but again, I haven't had this issue and mine works flawlessly. Hi LG, open YouTube. Going to YouTube app. Hi LG, go home. Hi LG, open YouTube. Going to YouTube app. You can have the Zero Connect box up to 10 meters away in your room, and the only requirement is that it does need a direct line of sight for the TV. And on the Zero Connect box, we've got the Ethernet port, we've got a cable and the antenna ports, we've got two USB ports, a common interface slot, three HDMI ports, which are all HDMI 2.1, and then finally, we've got the optical out. In terms of the wireless connectivity, we've also got Bluetooth 5 and Wi Fi 6. Now in terms of the TV specs, it's of course an OLED panel which is 4K at 3840 by 2160 resolution. It supports Dolby Vision, HLG and HDR10. And even though it's wireless, it can still display 120 frames per second in 4K and we still get low latency for gaming. We've got a silver frame around the sides and then we've got nice even bezels all round with a slightly bigger bezel at the bottom. And the whole panel is an even thickness unlike other OLED models that have a bulky bottom where all of the components are. So we fire it up, you can see it's the usual LG software we're used to is it is running WebOS. WebOS is also ran from the Zero Connect box and not the TV itself. And as you can see, everything is smooth and snappy thanks to the A9 AI processor 4K Gen 6. Now the picture is just incredible as you'd expect from an OLED TV of this caliber and we've got bright vibrant colors with incredibly deep blacks and high contrast and it's now up to 70% brighter thanks to the Brightness Booster Max. Now for the picture modes we've got Personalize which is your custom setting, we've got Vivid, Standard, Auto Power Save, Cinema, Sports, Game Optimizer and Filmmaker modes and as always with LG there's a separate set of picture modes for HDR and SDR content although there's no auto power save for HDR. We've now also got the new personalized picture wizard and this is going to show you a variety of images and you've just got to pick one or two that you prefer out of all of them. Then after seven rounds of doing that, it's going to use the preferences to create your own picture profile and to be fair, I found this does work pretty well. We've got plenty of customization of the image and you can set OLED pixel brightness, adjust the contrast and black level. You can change it the expression enhancer and select peak brightness, low, medium or high. The peak brightness does seem to work pretty well in adding extra brightness. And you can see here that it definitely makes the white more white. 
you can customize at super resolution, noise reduction, and you can also change at the true motion settings to have the image exactly to your liking. And of course, we've got the game optimizer for the gamers out there, where you can fine tune your gaming experience even more and use the low latency mode boost. And you can also see here, we get a lot more customization towards gaming. And the TV supports 120 Hertz gaming. You've got AMD FreeSync, G-Sync, and VRR. Although 4K 120 frames a second it would of course be too much bandwidth for wireless video, that's where the magic of the Zero Connect box comes in, and it sends pixel instructions to the TV rather than the physical data, and that's how the whole thing works. Now for picture, it's just incredible, and it doesn't matter whether you're watching SDR content or HDR content, and whether that's movies, TV shows, gaming, or just watching videos on socials, the TV just performs incredibly. 4K content is incredible to view on the 77 inch display, and even 1080p content is well upscaled to make it enjoyable. Now, of course, for older content like 640p and below, it can look a little bit pixelated as you can see here. But of course, there's not too much you can do about that on a huge 77 inch display, but the upscaling definitely helps. Now, the TV speakers also sound all right for built-in speakers with its 60 watt audio system. But to be honest, if you're buying a TV in this price range, you should at least have a soundbar or a surround system. Some of LG soundbars also pair with the TV to use them along with the TV speakers, but unfortunately, I don't have one to test. If you've got a Bluetooth soundbar though, you can connect via Bluetooth to keep everything wireless, or you can use HDMI arc or optical cables if you prefer. For the sound mode, we've got AI Sound Pro, Standard, Cinema, Clear, Voice Pro, Sports, Music, and Game Optimizer. So we'll just listen to the differences between the sound profiles now. In the settings, we've also got lots of AI settings like AI Picture Pro, AI Brightness Selection, Genre Selection, and Sound Pro. And these are all there to help you get the best settings without giving too much thought into it. But personally, I prefer to set things up myself. Now you can, of course, customize all of the OLED care and cleaning, as well as all your family settings, network, and more. And one of the things that I personally always do is go in and turn all of the energy saving off. Now, energy saving is always great, but of course, it's going to change things like the brightness. And personally, I like to set it up exactly how I want, and I don't want things automatically changing. And I don't want any of these auto features turning my brightness down. Now, we've got a new aluminium remote as well. And while it's got similar buttons to the previous black magic remote, it's definitely a lot sleeker and more premium looking. And I have to say, I'm a fan. We've got all of the numbered buttons on the top, followed by the sound and navigation buttons. The middle button is also a scroll wheel for up and down. And then we've got all of the shortcuts at the very bottom. And of course, you can also wave it around and use it to control the on-screen pointer. But overall, I'm impressed with the new TV. Not only is it an incredible panel, but the wireless connectivity has surpassed my expectations. Personally, I'm a fan of wires for reliability, but in this instance, the wireless hasn't let me down once, there hasn't been a single interruption or glitch, and I've been able to enjoy the TV just as I would if it was a wired connection. Now, my use case also isn't really the best for this demonstration, and I'll be looking to get rid of the cabinet entirely and move the peripherals somewhere else in the room, as it just looks a lot more impressive when it's only the TV there and nothing else. But that's pretty much it for me today, and I just wanted to go through what this TV does and how it performs. And of course, if anyone's interested, I've placed the links down in the description below, so you can go ahead and check that out now. And it also comes in an 83-inch version and even a 97-inch. Now, of course, if there's anything I've missed, you've got any questions at all, or you just want me to try something out for you, then ask them down in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks for watching the video, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech.